Welcome to another reading challenge video. You guys love them and I love filming them. This time, am I gonna regret undertaking this? Who knows? I am going to try, a keyword is try, to do a book a day challenge. Let me get into the rules. Shoot outfit and OOTD every single day. One thing about me is that aesthetics are my only motivation for anything. Like, look at this. Look at this top. So cute. Do you see the material? This is from We Haul. Thank you so much for partnering me on this video because all the outfits that I'm going to be wearing in this video are going to be from We Haul. I have everything linked in the description. So if there's something that you like, you want to twin with me, everything will be linked in the description. And they're kind enough to give you guys a special code. So the code is SUNNY18 for 18% off the entire site. So literally anything you want for 18% off. The next rule, no lying down. No lying down. Literally my other video challenges, every time I lie down to read, I fell asleep. I literally took four naps in that one video. So this time, no lying down, which is what brings me to the space that we're in right now. This is, oh, the cookies. My plan is to read my book today at this table so that I don't fall asleep. It's that easy to start shark this video might also just be another excuse for me to reread sorry to jump scare everyone that i'm holding a physical book physical books are literally fictional creatures on my channel so sorry for the jump scare i was in my biggest hyperfixation spiral a couple of nights ago i've always wanted to own copies of this book so that i can reread them annotate them while i read them so that's why i wanted the physical copy that's what we're gonna be doing in this video for at least some of the days look at the cover of it okay graphic design is my passion it literally screams self-published which i love so much i'm so excited <laughs> i mean i know it looks short but like the spacing in this book is literally like negative 0.5 spacing look at that look at that's like the bible bro my plan is to sit here and read the entire thing I annotate it i don't know how long it's gonna take here's what i use it's this big pen and it's broken it's literally crap it's the only pen that i have here and i have this case of highlighter that i these little highlighters watching this back is so funny to me because the way that i take this so seriously i look like a whole researcher and i'm literally just reading a book anyway sorry i don't think that i even explained the book that i was reading but i'm reading the foxhole court by nora sakovic it's the first book in the all for the game series which has a total of three books and i will move on to read all three books in the first three days of this challenge because i have no self-control it follows a sports team for this fictional sport called xc and we follow one of the characters neil Jostin. he's running away from his father who is involved in the mafia so it's like a sports mafia book but the reason i like it is because i'm obsessed with one couple the slow burn couple andrew and neil or andriel for short i'm back looking a lot worse than i did before i changed my shirt because i was eating and i didn't want to ruin it actually halfway through halfway through the first book i decided that i'm going to literally make the holy bible for this book series while i'm reading this book like doing my normal annotation but i also got my sticky notes laptop here Her tumblr pulled up where she has all this extra content for the lore adding to this book on the extra pieces of information like all of my highlights i chose yellow for anything like neil character related sad neil moments which are most of them pink for all of my andrew neil moments which was a mistake because this is running out of ink now blue for any andrew moment if you know this i put all of the extra pieces of information that is just from her tumblr i've never been so committed <laughs> to annotating a book series like you've never seen annotation like this before have you changing the game here extra information about characters that we don't get in the book she answers all these questions that people ask her about these characters and just compiled it all onto here extra little bits of backstory and things like that unfortunately to everybody's demise nothing is ever going to hit like the foxhole court series no i genuinely don't think anything will ever do it justice and i hope that the second and third book get here today it can and it will Day one of the challenge is finished because I officially finished my reread of the Foxhole Court. Because the first time I read this book, I gave it a three star. But let me tell you, the reread is what counts. Oh, estimated arrival time, 4 to 5.45 p.m. Best six hours of my life. Okay, see you tomorrow for day two. Look what was waiting for me. I am so excited. Okay, welcome to day two. Oh my god. Look at them. Wow, this one's a thick boy. I'm so excited. I own all of them now. Look at that. We read this yesterday. Now it's time to read the second one, The Raven King. This one was the game changer. Okay, no one freak out. Is this not the cutest set you've ever seen in your entire life? Got it. It's this white little matching sweat set. It's like this cropped hoodie and the material is like quilted. Same with the bottoms. Unfortunately, this thing is, I'm like 5'8". So if you're tall, it's really very, very short. I'm obsessed with the bottoms. They're not see-through. Also, it's kind of hot. So I'm gonna wear something that's not a hoodie. Okay, so now we're ready. These are literally my favorite go-to lounge shorts. Now look at how cute they are. I've assumed the position. Time to read this entire book in one sitting. One thing about me is that I literally love working and reading on the floor of my bedroom. I don't know why. Obviously, I'm reading The Raven King, the second book in the All for the Game series. And this is the book where I was like, oh damn, this book series is gonna ruin my life, isn't it? And it did. 
period. Okay, I'm this much into the book and I'm literally having a mental breakdown right now because it's literally my favorite scene and the scene that changed it all. I feel it coming. I know that it's... <laughs> I literally can't handle it. Oh my god, lives were changed and lives were saved. So happy that I have a physical copy now and I can reread anytime that I want. I'm so excited. Guys, I accidentally read <laughs> this much more of the book. Also, I changed because I was eating. I got so much white clothes actually. You guys are gonna see in the rest of the video. And so I get scared when I'm eating because I'm a messy eater. You know what? I'm not even that much of a messy eater, but like if you're Korean, the real ones know the best Korean food bright red everything is red so anyway i explain this later on too but i really do think that rereading this book series is kind of like your first time reading a different book series first time you read the series it's just chaotic unhinged and you're like what the hell is this but then the second time you read it you're like oh so this is the greatest romance of all time so it goes without saying it's a hard battle but i do think the raven king is my favorite one in the series just because it's the start of like the greatest slow burn romance ever it's actually almost 7 p.m. now. I forgot how painful the end of this book is. I'm literally reading it and I'm like, I can't read it. I'm gonna cry. I cannot wait for tomorrow to read The King's Men. Finally finished. <laughs> oh my god. Quite possibly the most painful book you'll ever read in your life. My highlighters are dying, you guys. I need to resuscitate them overnight or something because they're not gonna last. This is gonna be a monster. I think this book is literally just an introduction to all the characters because you have to learn everything for the first time. Everything in here is out of pocket. Literally every single thing in this book is so out of pocket. When you get to this book and more unhinged, crazy, psychotic behavior happens in this book, it makes sense because it's not as out of pocket because it's in the pocket of this book. I really like this one character dynamic, which is Neil and the coach. They are probably my second favorite character dynamic. First one is obviously the slower couple, Andrew and Neil. Second one is Neil and Wyma, giving found family, like parent child. And then I think my third favorite is Neil and Matt. There's another player on the team. They're just like friends, probably who Neil is like has the closest friendship to. First time you reread this book series, it's not a reread. Like it's almost like you're reading it for the first time with new eyes. It's like a different story now that you've read it the first time. Does that make sense? It makes sense. The reread is the first time you're actually understanding and getting the story. Like I think you need to read it once and be so flabbergasted by the things that happen. And then the second time you read it, that is your first actual true reading of this book series is my opinion. Good morning, welcome to day three, the mid-season finale of this video where I'm gonna be reading The King's Men. Most intimidating one, cause it's the thickest one. Also let's give it up for the cutest outfit of this whole video. I'm actually so obsessed. Look at it. Are you kidding me? It's this little knit set and it has a little hoodie top. I don't want to show my bare feet, but it's like these flare knit pants. No, you're actually joking. It's giving Frankie's bikinis knit set. You know what I mean? It's currently 11 a.m. We might have to do a two-part on this because I have to go to a soccer game. Oh my gosh, yeah, how fun is that? One of the PhD students in one of my labs invited me to go to a soccer game with her. And this was like one of my first times going to a soccer game. I literally don't know anything about how soccer works, but the vibes were so fun and immaculate. Oh my gosh. Anyway, back Back to the book, The King's Men, the final book in the All for the Game series. Obviously loved it. Oh my gosh, this book is actually traumatic, can I just say, but it's honestly the best book of all time, so. Just got to my favorite quote of this entire book series. If you know, you know. Hey everyone, here I am back looking a lot less cuter, but it's time to become cute again because now I need to go to a soccer game. Almost on the book, you know, I've literally started labeling everything. Oh, that's kind of cursed. Hello everyone, I'm back. It's 11 p.m. Got back from the game. It was so fun. Actually, I'm so glad that I went. I still have this much more to read in the book. Okay, so to BFFR, the last thing that I wanted to do after coming back, it was 11 p.m., was read this book. But of course, if you know, the last part of The King's Men is like scarred into your brain pretty much. Like, wow, I've never felt so many negative and positive feelings all at the same time but because i was tired i didn't fully fully annotate everything i literally just wanted to enjoy myself and read the book so that's just what i did guys happy day four of the challenge late start to the day it's 10 30 because yesterday or i guess this morning at 4 a.m fire trucks came and like there was a small fire on a balcony we think that it was on our floor because when we were leaving we saw firefighters coming and like banging on the door anyway, i haven't even decided what book we're gonna be reading today it's literally 3 p.m. now. I'm also my phone is on 1% battery. And I haven't even started reading a book because I needed to get my chicken pox vaccine and then I needed to work. You guys couldn't tell. I'm in a really hectic phase of my life right now. I now have the evening and nighttime to start and 
finish an entire book. I did have one idea, but I'm scared that people are gonna be mad at me. What I've been wanting to do is reread. I know, another reread of one of my favorite books ever. It's the second book in the Addicted Cali Sisters universe, Ricochet. It's literally my favorite book in the entire series, and it's a criminal offense that I've only read it once. Um, not only do I want to read it, but I want to annotate the entire thing on my iPad. And while we're on the annotation streak, like why not? You know what I mean? Oh my gosh, I don't even think that I wrapped really what I did last night because my REM sleep was horribly disrupted. Someone decided to start a small fire on their balcony, I guess. But last night, you guys saw I finished The Kingsman. I think I finished at around past midnight for sure. One of my favorite series ever, three books in three days. Icon moves only. Who's proud of me? So let's just fill up the roster this video with books that I know are six star reads. Also, I think I showed you guys, but this is quite possibly the cutest thing that I got in this entire video. Cardigan slash sweater. I mean, it can be cardigan or sweater. I don't know why I just love tops like this that are like V. This and has like the little varsity stripe. Like, I don't know why I think it's so cute. It also has it on the sleeve. So cute. I literally feel like Sailor Moon in this. So if you're new around here, I do think that it's vital, vital information to know that one thing about me is that I'm a Rike Meadows girl. Like, I'm gonna have engraved on my tombstone, okay? Do not resuscitate unless you are Rike Meadows is the move. So literally the only reason why I love Ricochet so much is because we get the start of Daisy and Rike, like so many Daisy and Rike moments from before they're together. Like I got so many butterflies reading this book again. Also, if you guys want to see me annotating with my iPad, I made a video like a while back, but Loki's outdated. If you want to update, just let me know. And the race was red flagged, so don't know if it's gonna restart. But let me take this moment to decide what we're gonna be reading today for day five, I think. I think what I want to read is The Fixer by Jennifer Lynn Warren, one of my favorite authors. She wrote two book series that I was kind of obsessed with, The Inheritance Games and The Natural series. Apparently it's a thriller, thriller YA, Scandal meets Veronica Mars. I think there's like a love triangle in this one too. She's like the only person I trust with love triangle. It has a really good ratings on Goodreads. It has a 4.17. I feel like I could read all her books in one sitting. Her strange sister uproots her to DC and she starts at an academy school for the rich and the powerful. Okay, I'm kind of obsessed with that because you guys know that I love, what do I love? Rich people problem. The cover really screamed 10 years ago YA. Also, I'm wearing this hoodie from before, then wearing it with gray sweatpants. My Barbie, this would be her outfit. Anyway, so our main character could not tell you what her name is, but at this new school, she meets two boys. One is a boy named Asher and he's very much like the playful golden retriever unhinged type. And then we have Henry. Henry, who's like the giving nothing, like stone cold, not doing anything type, you know? Okay, an update is that I was lying on my back reading this book because I forgot the cardinal rule number one, this challenge, which is not to lie down. I'm gonna lie down on my stomach because I think that if I'm on my stomach, I'm like pretty safe. I don't know what it is about, like my, he my head can't touch the pillow. Guys, the sun setting. I just finished The Fixer. I was very heavily skim reading by the end of it. I think it's just because, okay, well, first of all, Love Triangle was not Love Triangle. There was like no romance pretty much at all. I don't even care because there was never any chemistry between her and either of the boys anyway. I'm always team like whoever the more problematic boy is. But in this case, Henry, like he was really giving nothing and like not in a hot way. He just like disliked people for like no reason. Like mean, but not in an angsty way. Like he was just mean in like a mean way. I think it's like the way that he talked proper and stuff, but like I, I can't take anyone seriously who talks like that. If you talk like that, then you have to have a British accent and there's no other way around it. And the mystery part of it was all like like very political classic just a canadian person looking at american politics for entertainment it is easy to read like all of jennifer lynn barnes books but i definitely didn't like this book as much as her other book series at all. i'll see you for day six good morning everyone welcome to day six I'm trying to decide what book i wanted to read and something came in the mail this video is not sponsored by the way i was really excited to read this except for the fact that it's a ginormous hardcover adult fiction book. And I'm like, can I read that in one day? Hmm, I don't really know. And so I started reading a couple chapters. I'm on chapter seven now. I really like it so far. Historical literary fiction. It takes place in like the 1950s. I just really like literary fiction books and I haven't read them in a really long time. So I was debating whether or not I continue reading this and take on the challenge or if I jump ship and do something a bit easier. Yeah, even though this book is written by a man, okay, a disgusting man, he is like a really good author. Let me show you my reading fit for today. This is what I call my Kim Possible outfit. Gray parachute pant cargos. From WeHaul, I got these. Very, very similar, except they're too small on me. I found that WeHaul tends to run small, so keep that in mind when you're ordering. Luckily, I have very similar ones. So if I had these pants, then this is the outfit that I would wear. So this book takes place in like this small town and we're following the sheriff trying to investigate a murder that happens. And 
everyone in the town suspects this World War II Native American veteran who has come back to this town with a Japanese wife. Okay, so it's really giving racism, giving discrimination, and it's just like unfolding the mystery of what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Halfway through the book now, we just got to part two. Fearing that I made a mistake because it's 3 p.m. now and I'm only halfway done the book. Okay, update. <laughs> it's literally six. I'm still halfway through this book because my friend called me to give me a haul. And then we literally spent 40 minutes watching Peyton Manning best plays together. And then I made her watch F1 team radios. Made the other person indulge in each other's hyperfixation. Now the sun is setting and I haven't read anymore. You can watch me reading while the sun is setting. It gets so dark. One of my favorite things about this book is the fact that there are so many characters who are introduced one by one and you get their complete POV, backstory, everything. And it's the way that all of their separate storylines end up coming together in ways that you don't expect. Like, I love when that happens in books. I did it. I finished. <laughs> My head hurts. Not because the book was bad, but because it was very... It was a lot. And it's not really like reveal after reveal and crazy plot twists and stuff like that, but it's like the slow unraveling. It just paints a really clear picture of like this entire town. All the characters have their own backstory. And then in part two is when the trial started. I recommend. It was a good book. It was really wild. I'll see you tomorrow for the last day. Welcome to the last day of this challenge. Lewis sweatshirt on. Comfy, whatever these wee haul shorts are. On. I think I decided for my last book of this challenge. I'm going to be reading Chloe Gong, Last Violent Call. I opened my Instagram and she came up on my Instagram feed and then it reminded me. I think it's a bind up of two novellas. So together I feel like it would be like one book. Side note, I literally hate the way my hair looks in this clip. I don't. Anyway, the first novella follows the main couple from these violent delights and then the second novella follows like a secondary romance that happened in these violent delights. Low key, I don't care about the main couple at all, but I love seeing the other couple. Finally finished. Last Violent Call. I mean, there were two novellas, so both of them were like pretty short. I thought that they were gonna be about the Foul Lady Fortune characters. Second novella were two like side characters from these violent delights and I love their sub romance, which is probably my favorite part about that book series. And so they were the main character of the second novella, so I like the second novella way more. That's it. It was just for the story. I think it was literally just like fan service. <laughs> oh my god. And that finally concludes the end of this video. I feel like I aged like two decades filming this. I call that a success if you ask me. Oh my gosh. That was tiring. That was tiring. Don't do what I did. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and follow me on my socials. They're all linked in the description. I'll see you all in the next one. Good fortune, Toby.